Hello, I'm Peter here. Today I just want to run through what I find is uh, it's free, it's easy and it's accurate. The best way to diagnose whether you do have a cracked piston, it's quite easy to do yourself. That way at least you can confirm it, you can see it and you know what's going on. So I'll explain how blow-by like this relates to a cracked piston like this. So it's pretty straightforward. When you see, hopefully you'll be able to see the crack straight through, exits the other side. So the best way to diagnose yourself, you can simply go out, remove the oil for the cap, it's no secret, and see the blow-by that comes out. But what I want to explain is how that blow-by to a lot of people that don't understand relates to the crack piston. Basically when the cylinder fails and it cracks, similar to this, it turns that cylinder basically into an air compressor. So for an example, this is a piston that obviously it's cracked that we've cut in half. You can see the passage that the, the um, combustion gas travels through. Very similar size to an air blower. Okay, so basically, as I say, you're turning this cylinder, we use number one, into effectively an air compressor. So, um, inlet valves open up, obviously the, the piston comes down, draws in a cylinder full of air. The, um, then when it comes back to make compression, so it comes back up onto the compression stroke, obviously it can't make compression because of the hole. So the air will exit the hole, the compressed air will then exit the hole into the crankcase. That starts, that's the compressor effect. So suction in, build up compression, come through. The reason you get such a distinct puff every second time is because every second time that piston comes up, obviously four stroke engine, the exhaust valves are open. So we open our exhaust valves. When it comes up, there's no resistance. So the air simply compressed air, that instead of, it's not compressed air, but instead of traveling through the crack, the air that this piston makes just goes out the exhaust and, and there's no resistance. So there's no compression, no resistance, obviously when the exhaust valves are open. So effectively, the next time it comes down on its inlet stroke, yep, sucks in a compressed uh, a cylinder full of air, tries to make compression coming up on the compression stroke. There's no or a lack of resistance due to the crack. So what's that like? That's like opening an air blower. So you have the volumetric efficiency of the cylinder compress the air. So the air blower releases, blows the air into the crankcase, which obviously has to come out through either dipstick when you remove it to have a look, or the oil filler cap. So every second time it comes up. As we said, exhaust valves are open, so there's no resistance, so you let go of the air blower. So it's just a con continuing cycle of piston coming up, making compression, blow. Release the, the, the released with the exhaust valves, no compression, release the handle on the blower. So it's basically the, the, the engine effectively on that cylinder, because it's only every second stroke, is on and off, on and off, on and off. That's why you get such a distinctive puff coming through the oil filler cap when you're taking it off. Now to make simple sense of it, to work it out, if you have, obviously we've got a four cylinder engine, we'll just use 600 RPM as a, a figure for uh, idle speed. So if you're sitting there and the vehicle's doing 600 RPM, you've got the oil filler cap off and you're watching that distinctive puff, puff, puff coming out the oil filler cap. Now basically, with an engine doing 600 RPM, obviously it's only happening every second time, so you drop it back to 300. So 300 divided by 60, obviously, I know it's hard to work out, you're not gonna see it, but basically you're at 600 RPM, you're gonna be at five puffs per second. So basically five puffs per second coming out that oil filler cap. You're not gonna see that, but at least, you know, if it's flat out and you can see that, hey, I can understand what's going on now, why it's doing that distinctive puff, and what has happened. You don't need to pull the head off. You don't need to do anything more. That's the point where you stop and start doing some research. But anyway, I hope that just explains basically how, a, um, how that blow-by that you'll see coming out relates to the crack piston. And it's easy, it's free, and it's accurate. So if you are in a situation where you think that has happened, simply remove that, have a look, and if I can help, give us a call.